Yeah, it's a harsh reality. <laughs> She's talking about food insecurity. And Bostonians are living through that harsh reality now more than ever. One in uh, 11 children before COVID were food insecure, and that number is unfortunately now one in five. Stephanie Smith and Amanda Trombley work at Food for Free. It's an anti-hunger organization in Cambridge. We're packing 500 boxes on Tuesday, 500 boxes on Wednesday, filled with a couple really solid dry goods that are staples, and then a bunch of produce. We've got a truck in the bay that is going to take all these boxes that we just made and go distribute them right away. These volunteers pack and distribute hundreds of boxes weekly. Since the pandemic began, Food for Free's volunteer count has jumped from 20 to 300 people per week. Right when COVID hit, it was an all hands on deck situation. We're seeing more of a need now because the economic crisis is just getting worse. Now COVID has put the need for organizations like Food for Free at an all time high, but the people here tell me their jobs will get even more important as the world finds its new normal. It's going to take the economy a while to recover from this, so I think the need is still going to be pretty significant. But that need doesn't just exist for those who are food insecure. Volunteering during COVID has been a lifesaver for the people that we're serving, but also for the volunteers themselves. I mean, people are isolated, alone. For volunteers, it's just as life-giving for them as it is for the people that these boxes are going to. Food for Free distributed 2.7 million pounds of food to more than 30,000 people in 2020. It will run seven different food assistance programs in the greater Boston area through 2021. Reporting in Cambridge, Angel Salcido, Good Morning Emerson.